and surely I know God will deliver you. Hello everyone, my name is Denise. This morning my title is called Deliverance and Healing. But before I do so, I'd like to explain to you some of the different ways that I hear from the Lord. And the reason I'll be doing this is because many times I hear prophets or prophetic people would come and they would say that I've heard from the Lord. And I myself would wonder, how did this person hear from the Lord? Was it through a dream, a vision? How did they hear? And so for this reason, I'll be explaining to you. Also to help anyone who may be interested in the prophetic and how it works. Okay, I hear from the Lord audibly, just as I'm speaking now and you can hear me. This is one of the ways that I hear from the Lord. I also hear through dreams and visions. There are also times when I would have a download of information where I would know everything that happened as if I was there when the events took place. Okay, those are some of the ways that I hear from the Lord. Right, before I begin, I also would like to say for anyone who's seen my video for the first time, that everything happens spiritually before it does here on earth or in the physical realm. And so what I'm trying to say is nothing can happen here on earth unless it's first happened spiritually. And so this is how the Lord has allowed me to hear what is to come before it does. Okay, I will go through some dates with you. This morning, as I've said, my title is called Deliverance and Healing. God says Deliverance and Healing. On the 18th of October, on the 18th of July, I should say 21, the Lord says there is war in heaven. And I knew that some of his people, some of his children would be freed. Then on the 6th of September 21, the Lord said, restoration. Restoration is coming, he said. Restoration is coming. So many of God's children will be restored. Then the following day, the 7th of September... 21, the Lord said he will be healing and delivering many of his children. So good news, the Lord says he will be delivering and healing many of his children. Again, on the 8th of September 21, the Lord said some of his children will give testimonies. Some of his children will give testimony. Some of you will give testimonies. Then on the 8th of October 21, I had a dream where I saw a lady being prayed for and the person was telling the demons inside of her to come out. And the demons came out of this lady that were being prayed for and the lady was freed and the lady was delivered and she walked away unaware of what has happened. And in the dream, I knew that she would soar to great heights because she has been freed. She has been delivered. So her life will never be the same again because she has been freed she has been delivered she will not she will now accomplish the things that wasn't she wasn't able to accomplish all the things that were not possible before will now be possible because she has been freed because to be demon possessed brings limitations to be to be demon possessed brings limitations and lack and it prevents us from fulfilling our purpose it prevents us from soaring it prevents us 
from reaching heights that we would normally reach. And so the Lord is saying he will free many of his children. Then I heard in the spiritual realm that it was demons. This is what I heard after when I came out of the dream. Then again on the 8th of October 21, I had another dream where I saw someone being prayed for and the person was healed. So it is a time of healing and deliverance. Hallelujah. And on the 14th of October 21, I dreamt that the angel of the Lord was telling me that fight, a fight took place in heaven. The angel of the Lord was telling me that a fight took place in heaven and God has released some of his children. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good news. So it's the season where God is freeing and releasing many of his children from spiritual bondage. It is the season. Amen. And they will go on to do things that they would never have imagined. They will go on these people who are being delivered and been freed and been healed will go on to do things which they would never have imagined because they have now been delivered. Whatever was preventing them, you know, because this is what demons do. They, they prevent us from fulfilling our purposes, from doing the things that we would normally be able, as God has allowed us to do. They prevent us. And so God is releasing many of his children at this time. So it's good news, brethren. Good news. I'm happy to be delivering this prophecy. I'm happy that God is giving me these types of prophecy to give some good news to the believers of Christ. Hallelujah. These are my few words on this. But before I go, I also would like to say for anyone who don't know Jesus as their personal savior, I would like to invite you today to receive the Lord in your life before it is too late. Tomorrow is not promised to you and you could die in your sins at any time. And so I want to encourage you. The Lord has commissioned me to go forth and to tell the world. He has given me this opportunity on social media to, to, to reach out to many people, to tell them about him before it is too late. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him will not perish but they will have eternal life through Christ Jesus and so I want to invite you today to receive the Lord in your life to turn to him before it's too late for you there are also those who were once with Christ but they've now turned away from the faith I want to encourage you today to receive the Lord to turn to him again before it's too late for you what will it profit you to gain this whole world and to lose your soul and so i want to hasten you to receive the lord today before it's too late for you there are also those who you know are still professing the faith but they are lukewarm the bible describes them as being lukewarm they have one foot in and one foot out still doing the things of the world and the things of God. I want to encourage you today to turn to the Lord, to receive him again before it's too late for you. You know, tomorrow is not promised to you, as I've said. And what will you gain from, you know, doing the things of the world? Let your light so shine that men will see your good works and glorify the Father which is in heaven. We are in this world, but we are not of this world. And so let us not do the things of the world. Let us not try to fit in with the world. 
for we are not a part of the world, though we are living in this world. And so I want to encourage you today to turn to the Lord, to receive him again before it's too late for you. Thank you for listening. Take care. God bless you. Bye-bye.